Hey guys, so I have been gone for a really long time but I am going to address it in a different video because today's matters are way more important. Now for those of you who don't know, I am Bangladeshi and proud of it because it is a beautiful country. So I didn't think that I would need a script for this video but uh, I do have to be really careful with what I say. Now what I'm going to talk about in this video almost no one in the West knows about because the government has been cutting off internet and media coverage, deleting social media posts, which is why no one in the West is hearing about this. So this issue has been going on for a few days but the only reason that we're finding out about this now is because it's the only opportunity that they've had to let us know and actually speak up. Over the last few days there have been complete brutal acts of unfairness and injustice. So on the 29th of July in Dhaka, uh, two students, a boy and a girl, uh, were crushed and killed in a collision between two buses, uh, for one of which the driver did not have a license. Now this caused outrage within Dhaka because for years and years the roads have just been completely unsafe. It is a major issue in Bangladeshi society because over 5,000 accidents happened last year as reported by the government, but it's surely a lot, lot more. So ever since July 29th, for the past week, there have been loads and loads of protests going on in the streets of Taka. Students have been creating blockades in the roads on the outskirts of Taka and checking drivers for their licenses. Now a few days ago, loads of influencers and actors, including YouTubers like Salman Muktadir, who if you don't know is a YouTuber with almost a million subscribers, so he has a lot of influence, they decided to do a peaceful protest in Gulchan, which is an area in Taka. Now a few days ago, uh, Salman actually got arrested by the police alongside many many others for demonstrating peacefully which in itself is ridiculous however it comes nowhere near what I'm about to tell you so two days ago a protest was organized in Gulshan however only a few hours later Salman made another video warning all of his viewers not to go to the protest and to stay inside of their houses now initially I was thinking what's going on why isn't the protest happening but now I realise why. For the past few days, the state of Dhaka and the streets has been absolutely terrifying. The government has been replying to peaceful protests with violence, with extreme police brutality. They've been replying to peace with rape, torture and murder. The corrupt government oppresses justice for anyone who disagrees with them. And it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, you can't walk onto the streets alone, it's that dangerous because girls are being held captive and raped and thrown into lakes and the protesters are having their eyes gouged out and being brutally beaten and tortured by police. Even worse is that students who were completely innocent, not even protesting, at NCU, um, North Centre University in Taka, got tear gassed and the hospitals refused to help them. It's frankly a heinous crime against human rights and the will to be able to protest peacefully because students are peacefully protesting for their own safety and the government is retaliating with massacre and police brutality. Like the Chapter League and the Awami League, which are parties and forces in Bangladesh under the government, are the main culprits in this violence because we started this as a completely peaceful movement and the government has turned it into an absolute bloodbath and it's absolutely unnecessary and I just felt like I had to make a video on it. In my opinion it's one of the most unfair unjust things that have ever happened in human history because you hear all these things in the past about protests turning violent but you wouldn't expect to hear them in modern day the government is basically committing mass censorship, which is stuff you only hear about in World War II documentaries. This is real oppression and injustice. You know all those feminists in America who are like, oh, men are oppressing our rights, they're holding doors open for us, we are strong independent women. Like, like, shut up, that is not real oppression. Like, politically correct activists all going out and saying that they're being oppressed for their rights because, because someone called them something that they didn't agree with. But this is a real oppression, this is a real problem going on in the world and no one knows about it. Now, why is all this going on and why are the government hiding it? Basically, Bangladesh is one of the most corrupt countries in the world. The government is corrupt, all the systems are corrupt, the hospitals are refusing to help the people who are protesting against the government, and, the, and road safety because of this corruption and me saying all this is actually putting myself in danger because in the past there have been previously a lot of people who've talked against this and have actually been persecuted but I feel like you know even if this only gets 
20 views, at least those 20 people are aware of what's going on. All I want is to make people aware of what's actually happening. Now I do understand that I and everyone who is uh, tweeting and making videos about this are putting themselves in a lot of danger because the Bangladeshi government and other corrupt governments are absolutely brutal because as I've said there can be serious consequences for me and other people which just shows the scale of their power. So I know this is way more of a serious video than I usually do and I do apologise I've got loads of fun wacky videos coming out. I just really wanted to get this message out as soon as possible because we need as many people as possible to be aware of what is going on and obviously this issue is really close to my heart because I am Bangladeshi so I feel like I am actively taking a part in this issue and actually fighting for my rights as well as all the students in Bangladesh. So I hope this video made you more aware of the issues going on in Bangladesh and the complete brutal unfairness and injustice that students are suffering there, um, the brutality and the attacks and just pointless and necessary violence that was the reply to a completely peaceful protest in demand for road safety and the protection of the Bangladeshi public. Please do share this issue and make more people aware of it because I am trying to reach out to as many people as possible to let them know. So guys, if you want to help out, you can sign these petitions. I mean, I don't know whether they are going to help much. Even so, it is at least one step forward. So I'll see you all in the next video if I do not get cracked by the Chakra League and murdered.